Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another Zerker guide. Today I'm going to be showing you a very spicy, very styling combo using our new Magnus skill Time to Rock. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so this combo has been one of my favorite combos to use ever since Time to Rock has came out. I've been trying to include Time to Rock in all of my PvP combos ever since it's came out on Magnus. So, I'm going to share with you guys the most effective way how to actually style on people with Time to Rock. And if that doesn't get you to subscribe or like, I don't know what will because this combo is pretty spicy. You could see it in the background. And with that, let's just start playing the stylish music, dude. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Step one of the combo is just to do any grab. Any grab works. Not no attack speed needed. Pre-stack. Just any grab. Step two is friendly sure stomp combo for the added damage. Pretty standard. Step three, whatever this is, we'll go over it later. Don't worry about it. Step four, canceling into time to rock using Q for the quick cancel. Step 5, using General Disarray and Hotbar to gap close the distance that we got from Time to Rock. Step 6 is using Titan Step to down smash the guy on the floor. If you don't get the down smash, just disengage the combo because the combo is dead at that point. So if you don't get the down smash, run away. Step 7 is your standard damage combo, which is 2 blastings into Seismic Blast into Scattershot into your Titan Blow into your Ancient Wave or Slugfest. If you need help uh, deciphering that, it's in my previous video where I teach you guys a standard damage combo. So let's go over step three. Step three might seem a little bit complicated, but it's actually very easy. All you gotta do is just hold the S button while you're holding shift and spacebar. But let me explain to you exactly what's happening. There are many things happening in this short little segment. So I'm going to play at a normal speed and I'm going to slow it down by a lot. So there are about, there are a couple of frame zero cancels that you don't see. There is a lava piercer frame zero cancel, a headbutt frame zero cancel, and a uh, ground lift frame zero cancel into a time to rock frame zero cancel. So those are all the frame zero cancels that you're seeing right there. The way how you do the frame zero cancel is by holding down while you're doing lava piercer. So whenever you do headbutt into ground lift, you're holding shift into spacebar, right? Because you're charging the headbutt with shift right click and then you do ground lift right after, not letting go of shift and hitting spacebar. As soon as you do that, lava piercer is going to want to activate immediately. So what you do to cancel that Lava Piercer is you hold down S and that instantly cancels Lava Piercer with a uh, headbutt. As soon as it cancels, you end up hitting Q. So I'm going to play back everything in slow motion and I'm also going to throw in some clips to make it more clear to what I'm talking about. But hopefully this clears up the frame zero cancels on step number three. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but trust me, it is worth it. So at first you're going to do charge headbutt followed by ground lift. And then once you do ground lift, do not let go of the space bar. And then hold down immediately as you hit the space bar into a Q. That's exactly what happens. So right here, this is slowed down by 25%. I'm going to replay it again. But as soon as you hit the space bar for the ground lift, you hold down. And then right when you see your headbutt come out, you hit Q. So as soon as you see your Lava Piercer cancel, you hit Q to cancel into Time to Rock. So let's watch that again. 
All right, so hopefully that was clear enough. I think I explained it pretty well along with showing you guys a lot of imagery and then slowing it down for you guys to get it. Practice the combo, have fun with it. This is a fun combo, it looks stylish, and whenever you pull it off on someone, they're just like, damn, what did I just get hit with? And you know what you reply with? You reply with style. So let's look at the combo again. I just want to show you the combo. I pull this off all the time whenever I'm fighting in BA. And it, it just feels like a very, very rewarding combo whenever you land it and the down smash goes and they do an extra flop on the floor. It just looks so cool. But with that, you guys, like, I really hope you guys took away something from this video. Zerker isn't cookie cutter no more. You could actually experiment with it. Of course, it's not optimal, but you're having fun. And that's the whole point of playing Zerker. So with that, you guys, feel free to subscribe because this took me forever to edit. I put my heart and soul into this and thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe, don't leave me hanging.